In my dreams, I visit this place. The only one that never changes. My escape. My quiet haven. This reminds me a lot of the uh, first sequence in The Cat Lady. Where she's in the field. That part doesn't. I don't remember that happening. We're on Hell Road? Oh, 12 Helen Road. This is where we live. Oh, I see. It says Helen, but it's kind of been rubbed out to say hell. Damn. Thank you. A communal mailbox. Joe and Ivy Davis, flat four. Looks like there's something inside. It's locked, but maybe I could just force it open. Let's force it open. Damn it, my fingers are too big. If only I could pry it open with something. Hmm. Hmm. Do I have- Hmm, I've got a cat magnet. Maybe the cat magnet will do it. Maybe? Wouldn't that be something? Okay. Nope, can't think of anything. Alright, well, this is worth a shot. I remember this guy, Bob. We hired him when we moved to my parents' place a few years back. It's been our home ever since. It's a door to the basement. Nobody goes down there anymore. Huh. Looks like it's been moved recently. Open? Anything in there? Uh, search. This looks like one of my books. What is it doing here? Oh. Well, what is it? It's a Stephen King mystery. Wait, did it say misery? Most of the books I own are written by Stephen King. What can I say? I'm a fan. A screwdriver? Inside a book? How odd. I better take it with me. Alright then. Well, looks like we got our thing to pry open the mailbox with. Great, the staircase has been blocked by this wall. That is a supremely odd construction choice, I have to say. Okay, so mailbox. Guess what? Uh, do it. A letter? It's from Frank Zellman. Do I know him? The name seems vaguely familiar. There's a 10 pound note and key inside. Weird, why would anyone send me this? Ah, oh. Maybe the key goes to this. Whoever sent me this key must be trying to help me. Hmm, here we are. Ooh. Furnace. Rusty old furnace. And yeah, it's broken. Uh... Hey, man, anything in there? Okay, we'll just leave it open for now, in case we want to put something in there later. A cat clock. Our cat Lucifer would have loved this toy clock. You named your cat Lucifer? I guess let's take it. Hey, I got it. Who even buys this sort of stuff? He said something else there. Let me see if I can get him to do it again. The cat seems to love it though. Okay. Sorry, still still getting kind of used to the controls. <laughs> Who's there? Hey, who are you? Who the hell? I 
didn't really appreciate that. Ivy? She must have already gone downstairs. For breakfast, right? It's breakfast time. It's very old. Yeah, it is. Just like this entire hotel. This is all wrong. Ivy always slept on my left side. Hmm, everything's opposite. Alright guys, uh, I'm gonna take a quick break, and I'll be right back. Alright, we're back. Let's check out Joe's bed. Single beds. No, that's not all right. We've been together for nearly 10 years. That's a long time for two people to be so close. Well, I'm sorry, Joe. I didn't realize you felt that way. We're not gonna sleep, though. Let's leave. <clears throat> Let's leave. Oh, I forgot I had to press up. So I'm guessing Ivy went down for breakfast. Let's go ahead and meet her. Jeez, Joe, you could be a little more tactful in your footsteps. Hmm. Wow, he, he walks very loudly. Gotta say. Good morning, Mr. Davis. Did you sleep well? What? What? The fuck? Is this oh, Mr. Davis? Such foul language. You might be the man I thought you were, after all. Full of surprises, without a doubt. Uh, let's say the other thing. Where the fuck is my wife? Oh, she had to go. Not at first. She sat here for a bit. Wrote a note. A letter, I think. Maybe it's to you. But then she met Sophie. Who? They got on like a house on fire. They might just as well have been friends for years. They're still here somewhere. But I don't think she wants you to look for her. Joe? Okay. We could say the same thing again, or we could say something new. So I'm going to say something new. Who is that Sophie? Her room is just behind your wall. 102. I told you it's not good to disturb her. Now that she's awake, she will never leave. If she's even half as mad as you, my wife's not safe with that Sophie. And I thought we were friends, Joe. But I can help it. Take a sit. Eat with us. You'll feel all these worries fade away in no time at all. I don't care about breakfast. Well, that's not good. They say it's the most important meal of the day. This is madness. I've got to go. I'll find my wife and we're leaving. I was afraid you'd say that. But fine. I won't stand in your way. As a matter of fact, I'll help you. I've left a key to Sophie's room on the reception desk. Maybe it's not too late. Excuse me? What are you do- you're taller than me. No, you're wearing heels. Okay, well, let's leave this creepy ass room. Freaking cat. That elephant trunk is in an interesting position in relation to Joe's body. Okay. Let's go take that key. You little bastard. I'm back here, you little shit! 
Too bad I can't run. What? This is not, this is not the dining room. Come here. Joe has a very determined walk. What? Well, which one is it? Whoa. There's a reflection there. Well, there's a horse there. Oh, that doesn't look safe. Let's check this one. What? That didn't really seem to do anything. That one didn't either. Oh, okay, well... Okay, the game hates me. I can't tell if, if that's intended or not. Don't understand. All right, uh... I guess we'll just try all of them. Unless I'm doing something I'm not supposed to be doing. Let's check, we got 10 pounds, the cat clock, and the cat magnet. Oh. That is not very helpful. That does not give me more information. What? I'm inside the TV. There's a cold draft coming through. Well, let's go in. Why not? What just happened? Hey, you! It's you! Oh, I'm gonna chew you up and spit you out! Wow, okay, this is a hell of a storm. It's... It's moving cars. Home sweet home. Well, I guess we have no choice then. Here goes. I remember this guy, Bob. We hired him when we moved to my parents' place a few years back. It's been our home ever since. I think I read that last time. Flowers? No, even if I had time for this, they're all wilted aw anyway. <laughs> for some reason I almost said wilted away. It's a brick wall, still there, blocking the stairs. All right, let's go in here. This is where we got killed. There you are. Careful, dude. This is where you die in your dream. This is the end of the road, you sneaky son of a bitch. It won't work. The furnace has been broken for years. Okay, guys. Anything can happen here. Well, that didn't really turn out like you thought it would, did it, Joe? Hmm.
can see charred remains of the cat. I didn't mean to do this. The furnace was supposed to be broken. Ouch, it's too hot. Well... Hmm. I'm not sure if we had a choice there or not. But, uh... <laughs> knowing this game, I, I'm, I don't think that we did. So, do we have something to, to take it out with? Like, uh, ooh, actually, we might be able to use the cat magnet. Let's try this. I've got it. Oh. Uh -huh. Key 102. Where the hell are we now? How did any of it? How are you just home? Think, Joe, think. Let's interrogate the receptionist for answers. She's not here. We'll go to plan B, which is open up the door. All right. Here goes nothing. It's Sophie's room. Let's do this. Why is she wearing a mask? Who are you? You know damn well who I am, Joe. Is your name Sophie? <laughs> See? It wasn't that hard now, was it? There's something wrong going on here, and you will tell me what it is. Oh, there's plenty wrong here, Joe. I don't know where to start. And I'm not sure if you're ready for it yet. What is this place? Why all the... mirrors? <laughs> this is the madness, Joe. Let's try to enjoy it while we can. I'm not mad. It's this place that's mad. Where's my wife? She's still around here somewhere, but hidden away. So you couldn't find her. But why? Why would she have to hide from me? She found a monster inside her, and no one can ever see. Even you. Did you say... a monster? Don't tell me you didn't see it. It's been... Looking around for quite a while. There are no monsters. You don't know what you're talking about. But you know this monster, Joe. It's the kind that lives in your mirror and whispers bad things when you're alone. And if you start listening, it grows stronger. Then... Then there is no going back. You fall and... Keep falling until there is nothing. Do you want to see? Just look into one of these broken mirrors here. Go on, see it for yourself. Fine. Okay, I'll do it. Which one? Any. Any, huh? Like this one? It's cracked just like other mirrors in here.
saw it for yourself. Isn't she a pretty, pretty girl? <laughs> it doesn't really matter if you believe in monsters, Joe. It won't make them go away, you know? Sometimes, there's just nothing you can do. But sometimes, if you're willing to sacrifice everything, you can achieve the impossible. All right, then. Let's be noble. I'll do anything to save Ivy. Good. Then I'll tell you what to do. It's very... simple, really. You just have to kill me. What? Why? I want to die, Joe. It's no big deal. I'm just a memory anyway. We kill memories all the time. I'm gonna need some clarification here. What do you mean, you're a memory? That's exactly what I am. A memory of Sophie. There are four of us here. The others are mostly raving lunatics. But not me. If you kill us all, you will open her hiding place. A world inside a mirror. The only one that's still not broken. But how do I know if you're telling the truth? Look around you. You're not in Kansas anymore. I'd already told you. This? Is the madness, Joe. Okay. I can do this without your help. Okay, well, you know. I think probably we should let her help us kill her. <laughs> yeah, that's that's like taking the cruelty to another level. Okay, um, let's let's go with it, I guess. How? How should I kill you? Poison me. What? Just give me something. I want to go to sleep and never wake up again. It won't hurt that way. I... I don't... I'll do it myself, Joe. I think that old fool Dr. Z had a stash of poison down in the basement. All I need is for you to find it and bring it here. This is a terrible idea. There's no other way. I am that one good memory of Sophie, you know? Just before things went to shit. And that's why I have to die first. I can't just kill you. Who do you think I am? <laughs> <laughs> but you killed the cat, didn't you? What? How do you even know about the cat? I see a lot of things in these mirrors, you know. Terrible, ugly things. And I know you can kill me, too. I swear, I didn't kill the cat on purpose. An accident? Interesting. But, never mind. What happened happened, Joe. Why should you explain yourself to me? I'll think about it. I'll... think about it. Oh, I know you will. Is that a phone? We don't have a phone in here. Hmm. I guess it's downstairs then. Yeah, sounds like we're getting closer.
Oh sure, I guess I'll just go into the elevator that conveniently opened up just now. Can't see what could go wrong. Let's go all the way up. 